my lovely Sagittarius. So I'm just going to jump in. Um, if you want to know how someone feels about you, they fell in love with you, but they're afraid to tell you how much they fell in love with you. They're, they're terrified. They're scared and they get tempted to, they get tempted to tell you they, they want to reach out more to you. Like it's hard for them is getting to a place with this person where it's getting hard for them to pretend as if they don't like you or they don't care, but they were afraid they didn't want you to see them as like crazy or insecure or too needy or too cautious, like, or too codependent. It's like they're, it's like someone who's like infatuated with you, but they're fighting themselves. They're trying to fight the love that they have for you in fear you know, um, some of you, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I've been sneezing through all the readings. <laughs> um, some of you, if you have a pet, you have a dog. I see you like playing with your dog, rubbing your dog. You love your dog. Or if you have a pet, I see like you really, really love your pet some of you you wish you had new friends you really want new friends you want people that can go out with you experience life with you do do like start like girls trips you you want to experience life in a different way than you have before um I see you coming up with all these ideas. It's like, I even see you and imagining it. Like what it would be like if you could even go on a, on a trip. Some of you wish you can go on a cruise with some friends or you wish you can go um, on a road trip. Like there's so much more that you would love to do if you had like a stronger social circle or family members who could even like go out and have a good time. But it's almost like people around you don't really do as much. And this is what you're going to be like struggling with. Like you really want a social life. All right. Um, when it comes to your, your love life. So there's two things. Some of you are already in love. And others of you, you're waiting for love. You're in love already. Okay. And you could have walked away in the past because you were struggling with some deception. Others of you, you walked away from people who are deceptive and you're just waiting. You're waiting for love. You're you're ima you're imagining it. You're trying to manifest it. Um, and others of you, you could just be in love right now in a situation and just waiting for it to grow and hoping that no deception is going on. No sneakiness is going on behind your back. That's what you're going to be wondering, like with this new love. I just don't want no sneakiness. I don't want no deception. I don't want no short lived connections. I really just want this to work and grow. And you're just waiting to see the outcome of the love that you're already in. Um, and and once again, if you are in a new love situation, like this person is just so afraid of the feelings that they have for you. So they try to like pretend they try to act like they're not as hooked in and sprung as they actually are but they're sprung they find you nice they they have somebody it could be a co-worker they can have a co-worker that they speak about you or they could have slipped they could have slipped and said something to like a co-worker or a cousin and and this co-worker or cousin always comes and says so how's it going how's it going and and they're excited to tell them, you know, um, but that's that's what I see. Others of you, you're waiting, you're detaching yourself from anything that is not working, sneaky, cheating, lying, manipulative. You don't want none of it. And you're just waiting on your your time to find somebody. Now, if you are in a relate, if you not in a relationship, but like if you do have a connection or when you do meet this new person, when you do meet this new person, you are going to realize that they want to establish a family and a foundation with you. They only want you and you can feel as if you've known this person your whole life. I Like I see past life 
patterns, deja vu, like you too will feel like you will feel so connected to this person or especially this person. They're going to feel so connected to you. They're going to feel like they've been with you in a past life. It's just going to feel that deep. They're going to realize like, damn, I'm so excited. You are somebody that I can establish a family with. You are somebody that I can lay real roots with. And, and even that scares them. Just the thought that like, wow, Sagittarius is is like literally could be my future. It's it's scary and exciting at the same time. This is all that they're hoping for. This is all that they're hoping for. See, this is the, I knew it. This is the divine masculine's energy. The divine masculine like they just want you. They want to support you. You know. They're not trying to have They're not trying to have any secret affairs. But they could have been brokenhearted. They could have been broken hearted by someone and and giving them the silent treatment you know but if they like you it's because they find you very attractive they find you charming graceful and kind hearted and they're really really hope hoping that it will work out because in the past they had a situation that didn't work out so they they just see lots of possibilities with you they see lots of possibilities with you they see stronger evidence of love than they've ever had in their life so this is the reason why they're they're choosing you this person is choosing you all right i don't know why i hear like i have a gun and a badge they could be a cop or they they are security a cop they and not all of them but that just came out let's see what else is going on in your life Oh, okay. You're going to be spending a lot of time with your family or you're going to be spending a lot of time at home. But I see family, like getting closer with your family. You can even be watching like movies with your family or some of you, you could, you could have like a bingo night with your family or a card game with your family. I just see you spending time with your family and enjoying it and um, trusting in the process, you know. You're trying to release any like suffering and you're starting to take more action. You're taking more action towards the things that you want and trusting it. Spirit wants you to know that you're very, very protected right now. And everything that you do is really protected right now as well. All right. Let's see what else is coming out for you. Spirit saying it's okay to stand up for what you believe in. There could be things like in your in your head that you're thinking about things that you feel like this is just not right. I feel like there's things on your job that you want to like speak out and say like, oh, this is just really not good. Like this ain't right. There's a lot of things that are being sugarcoated when it comes to like your job. There's a lot of things that need to be exposed at your job and you're trying to keep quiet, but it's hard for you. Yeah. So the good news is a lot of a lot of fake people have been exposed, you know, and if we if we use that example for your job, there can be a lot of people on your job who have been exposed for being like fake. But you're going into a season where you're going to be this person is going to be so sweet to you. Chivalry is not dead, baby. This person going to bring you flowers. They're going to um, and they're not even the type. You really got this person being like romantic and they're not really the type like that. They're just excited. I feel like, oh, you could have opened or activated this person's heart. And it's like all these things that they always thought about doing, they're finally doing. And they normally don't even do this. They normally don't even function this way. But you're bringing this like charming side out of them. That's how I know they like you a lot. That's how I know that this is true. Where'd it go? Like eyes only for you. I only have eyes for you. This is what you bring out of this person. You make them want to spend money on you. Buy you nice things. Make you feel good. And you've been really trying to pay attention to the signs. Or you could be looking for a sign. Can I trust this person? Is it worth it? And it shows you as the alchemy. So you rising up out of anything that could have had you down, could have had you in depression. You're just trusting the process and you're letting go more. You're surrendering more. 
I see you detaching from a lot of people. You know, Sagittarius, can I say this? Don't be surprised if you used to be more open and like outgoing and friendly with certain people. <clears throat> Don't be surprised if you notice yourself getting more closed off. Like you could you could come in you could come into a place right now where um you're gonna be more sacred about your energy and who you're around. I feel like there's people around you that you're very genuine and sweet and and you feel like they don't they're not they don't treat you the same way. So what's the point? Like why why put out all this energy if it's not going to be reciprocated so I see you pulling back your energy from a lot of people especially people who've been draining you you know you you probably the type that go out your way you like to make people happy you like to help people but you realize like what a, what am I doing this for why am I over that's the word why am I overextending myself to people who don't do the same for me you're gonna go through that like you're gonna have this a big epiphany like wait why did I do that why am I overextending myself and it's just because you're very very kind-hearted but you always have to take inventory of how much you give versus how much is coming towards you this could be why you're extra depleted or extra drained because the energy exchange is not equal people are taking more than what they give to you and you're going to start to be more aware of it you're going to notice it more you don't have to work to earn anybody's love you don't you don't have to work for nobody's love people should love you just how you are and love you just for you like this person this person looks like they love you for you Ooh, <laughs> you're gonna feel lazy at work this week you're gonna feel drained oh isn't that just crazy i just spoke about the energy levels you're drained because what you're what you're giving out you're not getting back the energy exchange is not equal so you're drained uh-uh you need to be around people who can feed you and support you too you don't do that but you're gonna be drained and you're gonna be recharging okay the weekend you're gonna be so happy if you have the weekends off you're gonna be so happy hold on to hope because you have a financial breakthrough that is going to come through there's a financial breakthrough coming through for you you knew it some of you felt it it shows a rebirth when it comes to like your finances more money some of you could be um either getting hired at an at a new place that is going to give you way more money than you're making now um and if it's not that you could be getting a higher position at the company you're at and you're going to be so happy because look at you saving look at you taking all this money honey look at all this money it's a lot of money but you're taking it and you're stashing it away like you're saving a lot you're and you're running to the bank honey so financially you're going to be good you're definitely going to be good. You're going to feel financially balanced. Some of you, if you wanted to go on a vacation, you're going to even have enough money to go on a vacation if you were trying to budget for a vacation. If you've been praying, like, I just need a break. I just need to get away. I need to go away. Some of you, Puerto Rico, you really want to go to Puerto Rico. Um, Puerto Rico is very nice, by the way. But but anyway, if if that's where you're, you're going to go and you've been praying, like, I really want to get away. This is going to... This is going to happen for you to travel. You will make way, way more than enough to travel like you want. All right. Um, I'm going on to the extended. On the extended, I will do a full spread on this person. I want to know what their intentions are. I want to know what they're hiding from you. I want to know how they see you and what is the possible outcome i will also do a spread on your family your friends your children your ex on the extended which is going to be in the description box i send you so much love and light sagittarius